Hi, this is Chris Hoy, and I wanted to share with you a fun technique that I've been playing around with. I use this in my new book, Songs of the Season 2, to create uh, pine trees and pine branches. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I think you will too. Um, the first thing we want to do is I used, and these are a Deco Art Americana colors, light cinnamon, and we're going to just take a little script liner and create um, the main pine branch. When we're finished, this won't show at all, but it gives you a really good uh, bone structure on which to build your pine branch. Now, the secret or the trick to creating this technique is having a brush that has a really sharp uh, chisel to it. And you can use a shader, you can use a chisel, which this is. Um, you can use a bigger, this one is a, a 5 8 inch flat, depending on how much or how big you want your needles to appear. Um, in the book I used the inch and a half wash to create a big Christmas tree. So you can go from small to large very easily. If you do have uh, paint down in your ferrule that's built up and your bristles are starting to splay out, this will not work. You need to use a brush with a good sharp chisel edge to it. Now I've got avocado green and celery green on my palette. I'm going to dip half of the brush into the avocado, flip it over, and dip the other half into the celery. Now when I load it like that, it's going to get fat, so I need to go back to get the integrity of the brush. I'm just going to swipe it back and forth on my palette to get that sharpness back. I want to keep the light in toward the end of the brush, the dark end toward the, the uh, branch. Okay, see how we just tap that on there? And I can zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to dip it again. Once you start to run out or those colors start to, to blend together, you need to reload. And I usually work from side to side, kind of a half uh, round motion. It just gives a little bit of order to the branch. And I build from the tip down to the base. See how easy that is? And you can't really see that center pine branch at all. And if you want to, you can go back and add more. You can make it as thick as you want. To give this a little more interest, and I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer. I want to put some snow on it, and if it's still wet, it's going to turn my snow green. Take the same brush, and I cleaned it out. And every time I clean it out, I usually take my fingers make sure to reshape that because I want a real, real tight um, chisel on that. I'm going to dip about a quarter of the brush into the white paint and I want that flat so I'm going to go and smooth it out flat on my palette. I'm just going to go in and touch the, the tips of those bristles or those pine needles with the white. Now you don't have to get every one and if you don't hit each one right where you have a branch, it's just going to look like the branch is even that much fuller. If you want snow real heavy on one side, you could darken it or you know intensify the snow on that side. Or you could keep it lighter and just make it look like a real full fluffy branch. I think that's a really good looking branch and we did it in practically no time at all. Your friends will be impressed, and it will be your secret on how long it took to make. So have fun and enjoy.